out. So you hold the bunch and then we snip so the bunch doesn't fall on the ground. And then we place the bunch in our bucket so we don't damage them. William, is that enough for a bottle of wine yet? Oh, no, no, no. Plenty more, please. But has this been a good year for you and the grapes? We had a lovely spring. The summer was a little bit damp, but then English summers usually are. But we didn't have torrential rain and we had a lovely um, autumn as well. And so the quality of the wine from these grapes and all the grapes we have here should be very good indeed. Is that enough for a bottle of wine? Getting very close. A few more bunches. And so how many bottles of wine will these grapes make for you? On average, we produce about 35 tonnes, uh, sometimes higher, sometimes lower. Um, and we'll get from that about 40,000 bottles. 40,000 bottles? How about this? Must be a bottle of wine I now. I think you've got one bottle. Hooray! As soon as the grapes are picked, the wine making process begins with this noisy bunch of machinery here in the car park. The, the grapes come through here, they get pushed up a conveyor belt, they get pulled into this machine here where all the stalks and the stems are taken off, then they get crushed, and then that gets pumped into the press and that's what used to be in the old days when people stood on the wine like that. Now it's all done in a big machine, but then come with me. Because minutes after that process starts, thank you. We've got, well, it's not wine, it's grape juice, but it will be wine once it goes in there. William, this is kind of how I imagined a winery. You know, now we're talking, we've got the big silver vats. What happens in here? Well, our juice from outside that you tasted a moment ago comes into the winery and uh, it settles overnight. And then we put the yeast in. And of course, the yeast eats the sugars in the, the juice and creates CO2 and alcohol as byproduct. And of course, the alcohol is what we want. They make around eight different types of wine here at Wickham, but I reckon that after having spent the day spying on the whole winemaking process with the picking and the pressing, that I know enough now to produce a ninth to add to their award-winning collection. Surely this has to be the vintage to outdo all vintages. Chateau Lizzie.